Now it's the boy Joel Ortiz, Brooklyn Zone in the building, ignitwithit.com. Keep it locked. Hey, we just had your video shoot of um, SOBs. Yeah. You know, from what I understand, you have a lot of history over here. How did, how did, can you talk about that a little bit? I mean, shoot, this is like my 990,473,710th time in SOBs. And it's always feel like the first time. I love it in here. This is yeah. my people's in here. We shoot my We Don't Believe You video featuring me, Joe Budden, and Novel, and we having a ball right now. Oh, the song is basically, you know, it's basically putting people on blast that uh, talk but they don't live. You know what I'm saying? So they talk a good one, but they don't, they ain't about the same thing when you see them in the street and stuff like that. And we having a good time with the video, making it comical slash fun. What's the difference between the Joel, Nick uh, Joel, Joel and, the, and the album Joel? Oh, there's not too much of a difference. <laughs> I, I, I'm always keeping it real. I'm always trying to be my best and I'm always trying to be fun. Right. You know I'm saying? I, I, it's no real, real difference. It's always going to feel the same when you hear Joel on something, genuine. Yeah, um, the song off the Roadkill mixtape was crazy to me. It was uh, you know, uh, the, the mid medieval times joint. <laughs> you gotta tell us what, what inspired that. How you get all the references? Was good. With that. First of all, the shot they record, the soldier, is just crazy. And I, I fell in love with the beat and stuff. So when I was like, yo, I'm gonna do a freestyle over it. I'm like, I ain't just gonna rip the beat. Like I gotta do something fun. Like once again, like you know what I'm saying, just trying to be right. fun and have fun on the beat, whatever. So I just decided to do that like medieval. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Night voice and then just have a blast. Right, right. I fought many battles, endured many wars Disfigured the opponents with every scar that he wore I'm really so adored, therefore I fought princesses, you orally please the town hall uh, You did a dedication to Pun as well um, Yeah That was crazy, can you talk about where you were when he was like at his prime and you know How about when, when, on you? When Pun was in his prime, rest in peace to uh, one of the best rappers of all time by the way When he was in his prime, I was listening to him Mm. That's exactly what was going on. I was in, I was in, a, in my room with the headphones on, listening to that Capital Punishment. Yeah. He's a, he was very inspirational, very, uh, very influential in my career. Like, just one of them dudes. You know, first of all, I'm Boricua, so just to, you know, let everybody know that I'm very proud of who I am, and he was always very proud of who he was. Right. And he, and he reminded you of who he was in all of them bars. If you could catch up to him, because yeah. he was so crazy with the lyrics. And at but that yo, time, Boricuas weren't really rapping yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was just him and, and a selected few. You know what I'm saying? On you know, um, Boricos at the time, you know, the Beat Nuts and, you know, you got Beat Real and Cypress Hill right. and stuff like that at that time, you know what I'm saying? Even though we date back to Prince Marky D and, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, don't yeah. get it twisted, we've been in the game forever, but, yeah, at that time, he was that dude popping for the Boricos, so I was a real fan, man. Right? Right, still right. am a fan. Still in my iPod to this day. No doubt. You know, you also did a uh, mixtape with Novel. Uh, can you tell us about that? Why'd you guys go with the Almost Famous theme? You know. Man, we just like to have fun. We define the predictable. Your radio is very predictable. You hear what you hear on the radio. Right. We wanted to do a tape that, that would surprise everybody and, and just wouldn't be so textbook and so formatted and so gimmick driven. Right, right, right. Um, you know, you, you, your album's called Free Agent. Yes. We used to mean kind of like, you know, I'm dope, but you know, I need I need to deal. But how, how you feel about it now, like with the industry the way it is? Do you like the indie? It, it was never I'm dope, I need a deal. It was just I'm dope. Yeah. What's up, nigga? <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm mean shit. <laughs> E1, I was fortunate enough to, you know what I'm saying, the blessing to hook up with E1. So they doubt. believe in me, they love me, I love them back, and we do what we do. So this is a beautiful thing, free agent. No doubt. Um, Slaughterhouse 2, you guys working on it yet? What's Slaughterhouse 2, yes, we are working on it. Slaughterhouse 1 took six days. We're going to try to make this album double as intense, double as good, so we'll Two do weeks. this one in 12 days. Okay. Joel Ortiz, uh, I said I remember.